We're good. Well, what is it about this defense that's been able to bend but not break in, in most of these critical situations this year? I think ultimately we, we just find a way to get it done. Um, you know, I think in the past we, we've maybe been a more dominant defense, you can say, but I think ultimately, you know, like those teams of the past, we find a way to get the job done um, in, in most circumstances. Um, and, I, and I think that just, you know, goes back to, you know, what we're trying to do. Um, you know, we, we, we're, we fight, we're gritty, we get after it until the, you know, the final whistle. And, and I think, you know, in a lot of situations, uh, it's very good for us. Coach talked about maybe the difference between this season and 18-19 is the expectations. Like, it comes down to the end of a game, tight game, you guys expect to win. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you were part of all of those teams. So do you do you agree with that? Do you see that, that maybe difference between this year's crew and when you guys were first starting out? No, absolutely. You know, I, I think, you know, as my old self, I've seen, you know, the evolution of a lot of these, you know, Cincinnati teams um, under Coach Fick. And I, and I think – you know, that that is probably one of the biggest differences in you know those teams versus the teams now. It's that no matter what situation we're in, there's no panic on the sideline. You never you never see guys, you know, get out of themselves because of because of the score. Because I think you know deep down we've you know seen time and time again that you know if we do what we need to do, uh, regardless of the situation, we will play ourselves back into the game. And and I think you know that's just. That's just who we are now, um, and, and I think you know it's been awesome uh, to be a part of. Uh, Coach Fick spoke a lot about the penalties on Friday night, particularly the um, targeting. As a defense and as one of the leaders of that defense, how much are you like, all right, guys, we have to sure this up and, and knock out those penalties to, to not make our lives harder out there? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's something that you know we just can't we can't do, and especially when we're playing good teams. Um, it, it's something that you know will will bite us in the butt. Um, you know it had it didn't it didn't uh, against ECU, but it, it will. And I mean, if we want to get to where we're going, like we we can't let that you know affect you know what we do. We have to stay within ourselves and, and play with each other because a lot of the penalties, you know, it, they're just completely unnecessary. And, you know, and I, and that's you know that's on me as you know one of the leaders on this defense is you know just. Bring the guys in and just remind them that you know that stuff is it will is all extra. It's it, it doesn't have to do with what, what we want to do. Um, and so you know I think that's something that we got to address as a team. And then I you know I gotta you know, take full 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 responsibility for you know those things. Have you seen with some of the injuries up front on the defensive line? Does that put any more pressure or emphasis on the linebacking crew? I don't think so. Um, I think you know the the same expectation <coughs> is held with the linebackers. You know, I think the guy with with the injuries that we may have had, I think you know, the guys you know, that have have stepped up and done an incredible job. So it's not like you know we're playing with our hands tied behind our back. You know, we we still have an expectation to you know go out and you know make plays and be the leaders of the defense at the linebacker level. And, and I think it really hasn't changed. I think guys up front have done an absolutely incredible job. And, you know, without them, we, we wouldn't be having the season we, we are. Temple has really started to gain momentum offensively after making the switch to EJ Warner at quarterback. Just talk about what you've been able to see from him on film now that you head into the game week. Yeah, he's a young guy. Um, haven't seen a whole lot yet. You know, we're still getting into that preparation. But he, you know, from what we can tell, he, he's, he's a baller. He throws that thing around. Um, he's confident in what he does, um, and you know he's he's led an offense to you know over 500 yards of offense in the last two weeks. So they're very capable in what they do. Um, but you know ultimately it, it comes on what what we need to do and uh, how we prepare. Jalen and Justin. Uh, Coach Fickle was in the room about a half hour ago, and he said that this is where the playoffs start. It's obviously a message he gave to us. I'm sure he said it to you guys as well. How aware are you? I mean, I, I think it's very prev prevalent in what we're doing. Um, November is for contenders, and you know we're in a sh we're in a we're in a spot now that you know we are you know capable of doing everything that we set out to do this year. Um, 
So I, I don't know if, you know, the urgency is even higher. I think, you know, we're still going about the, the business, you know, the way we've done it in the past. But I think it's in the back of their head that, you know, we have two, two weeks left in this in the regular season. So, you know, the message to us was like, what are, what are you willing to do in, for two weeks? Because in two weeks, if we do, do what we need to do, we're going to have a chance to uh, achieve our goal. Do you find yourself taking stock of last nip at night? You know, you know, you have your actual real senior night coming up in a couple of weeks. Are you thinking about that or are you trying to avoid thinking? No, I'm, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it, but ultimately it's a very human, you know, feeling, um, you know, walking off, you know, nipper on Friday was kind of a, you know, surreal feeling. It was like, man, like walking out, I kind of took stock in it because, you know, I always call my parents before the game and, you know, my dad always reminded me to kind of have fun. His, his big thing is like have fun, have fun and stay in the moment, you know, don't let things, you know, get too big. And his, his, his message to me was like, you know, Take you know, take stock of when you walk out, because you know that's that's a feeling that you can chase your whole life and never never can get it back. But you know, it, it is something that I think about, but it doesn't really affect what I do day to day. Along those lines, you have two really big games and a lot at stake here. There's a lot going on in that last week. It'll be your your last game at, at Nippert and your senior night. And how do you make sure that you and others aren't looking ahead to that Tulane game and are locked in on this Nippert night? No, I, that's it's tough, but you know ultimately we know that you know to get to where we want to do, we have to take care of this week first. Um, Temple has, you know, been a tough opponent the last couple of years, and I think they're picking up steam. So you know we have to recognize that to in order to you know do what we need to do, we have to you know take care of business this week. As a senior, is there a little bit of stress on this home win streak when you guys play Nippert to to not? let down the, the guys that got you here? Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to be the guy that, you know, lets a streak go, but it's not something that, you know, you go into the week thinking like, I'm I'm not gonna lose the streak because, you know, no one goes into a game thinking about, you know, not trying to lose. You know, we go into every game expecting to win. And so it, it's just, a I guess, a byproduct of that. It's not something that, you know, we really think about too much, um, you know, but, you know, been blessed, lucky, you know, been good enough to say that we haven't had to, you know, deal with that, and, and I, I don't expect that we will this year. Doesn't cross your mind on a when they convert a fourth and thirteen in a two point game in the fourth quarter, like you better buckle up here. I mean, yeah, in, in those circumstances, in the in the game, it's you know we better buckle up, but it's never you know never about the streak or about you know anything else. It's about that specific game, but when we. I'm like, when you walk off, you're like, man, I'm glad we pulled that one out for sure. <laughs> Any other questions for Will? Thank you, sir. Yep. Thanks, Will. Thanks.